The Lannisters were not the royal family and had no blood claim to the throne. Who was or wasn't Tywin's heir was irrelevant, Tywin himself had no claim to the throne, and so it wouldn't have gone to any of his kids on the basis of their relation to him. Cersei took the throne because there was no one else available all three of her Baratheon children being dead, not to mention Renly, Stannis and Shireen and because she could. No one was there to stop her or point to their own superior claim. In effect, she bootstrapped her own new dynasty that was rooted in the authority that she was able to take and hold on to. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. Because the authority behind the throne had shifted to her because she took it she wasn't beholden to the Lannisters' succession, which existed apart from the Iron Throne. And that's if you assume that Jaime had stayed sacked from the Kingsguard and was in any succession anyway. Cersei was the wife of King Robert and mother to the last two kings, she is a queen hence his royalty, and related by kin and blood to the previous three incumbents. Jaime has no claim to the throne, has no regal blood or status, but more importantly, unlike Cersei, has no desire to gain the Iron Throne. In truth, even Cersei has no legitimate claim to the Iron Throne, it's just that as regent she was essentially the incumbent and she was ambitious and ruthless enough to kill most of her rivals by blowing up the sept. Neither Jaime nor Cersei had any claim to the Iron Throne, plus Jaime surrendered his right to inherit any title as part of the Kingsguard. It was just expedient to stick Cersei there on the show. In reality, after the death of all of the Baratheons, they should have called a great council to pick from Robert's closest relatives. Although they didn't know it, the person with the best claim, as Robert's relative was Jon Snow. With the Baratheons dead their Targaryen cousins were their closest living relatives. If Jon's vows to the Night's Watch disqualified him, ironically Daenerys would have the best legal claim, although her lack of outdoor plumbing might have struck her from the succession too. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.